Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's uh, blog entry is entitled Dealing with Anger. I want to read a passage for you out of Ephesians chapter 4 beginning in verse 24. In this passage Paul says the following, And put on the new self, which is in the likeness of God, has been created in righteousness and holiness of the truth. Therefore, laying aside falsehood, speak truth each one of you with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and yet do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Well, in this passage, Paul is encouraging the church to grow in Christian maturity and grace. Now one sign of that new maturity, that, that new balance, that new person, is that that person learns to deal with his or her anger in a proper way. Now, in the old life, the sinful, unbelieving life, anger was dealt with and used in a variety of ways. For example, it was used as a vent to, to spew out our frustrations, or an excuse for violence or unreasonable conduct. You know, I was angry, so I did such and such. Or we use it as a way to intimidate or manipulate other people. You know, don't get him mad because he'll just, you know, so we, we, we do that to intimidate other people. But when one becomes a Christian, the old man of sin dies, is buried in the waters of baptism, and a new man emerges. And this new man emerges with new ways of thinking and new ways of acting. In this passage, Paul mentions the new way of dealing with a natural human emotion, which is anger. Note that Paul doesn't say, don't be angry anymore, or uh, anger is a sin. Notice that he doesn't say to deal with the cause or with the one provoking the anger, because that's not always possible or safe or practical. He encourages the brethren to deal with the anger itself before the day is out. We can't always deal with or eliminate the cause of our anger, but we always have access to the anger itself. Paul says, deal with the emotion right away. The reason for this is that if we don't deal with our anger right away, we allow Satan a toehold in our lives, and he can transform the raw emotion of anger, which is not sinful, into something which is, like jealousy or resentment, revenge or, or hatred. For example, Cain was angry, but didn't deal with it right away. And so what did Satan do? He transformed this anger into a jealous rage, which led to murder. Anger is a natural emotion. It's, it's, it's like a surplus of emotion we feel when we are afraid or offended, uh, embarrassed or disappointed, or when many emotions come together at once. Anger is the natural signal that tells us that we are experiencing a, an emotional power surge. How to deal with it? Well, Paul only tells us not to let the day go by without dealing with it you know, on that particular day. But how do, we, how do we deal with it in practical terms? Well, first of all, acknowledge your anger. You know, many times we're going around angry and we don't realize that, that we are. In verse 25 of this passage, Paul says that we must speak the truth. Sometimes that involves being honest with ourselves about how we really feel. Secondly, clarify your anger. In other words, try to define why you are angry and with whom or what, and if it is truly justified. Sometimes it's not worth it. Sometimes we're angry over something that may not be true. Dealing with anger properly requires that we get it into perspective, uh, put a name on it or describe a reason for our feelings. That doesn't make the emotion go away, but it helps us know where the emotion comes from. In the case of anger, arriving at the truth about it does help in setting you free from it. And then finally, give your anger to God. You know, our anger is usually caused by some injustice, some unkindness or adversity towards ourselves. We get angry because, well, it's not fair. We've been hurt or we feel helpless and victimized or inconvenienced. We need to realize that fixing the problem or getting even doesn't take care of our anger. Only the Lord can soothe our bruised egos and broken hearts. The healing we require from the burning heat of anger only comes when we consciously give our burden along with the anger caused by it to the Lord in prayer and in submission. Once you've understood what or who's made you mad, you need to bring them or it to God as soon as possible in order to avoid turning that anger into something else that will cause you to sin. If you're dealing with anger or if anger has caused you to sin, 
Repent, ask God to forgive you and begin to address your anger instead of your enemy or problem. Realize also that God's angry at you if you have not yet confessed Christ and been baptized or if you've been unfaithful to the Lord. He's justifiably angry and it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of an angry God. If you need to be right with God, don't let the sun go down on His anger. Well, that's it for now. I'm Mike Mazzalonco and you've been watching the Bible Talk video blog. See you next time. Bye-bye.